this is a forestry mulching. Uh, it's for a private builder and we're out in uh, St. Anne's, Manitoba. Uh, so I'm using our forestry mulching machine. Um, it's called a uh, gyro, gyro track or something like that. Can't remember the full name, but it's, uh, it's a full on uh, a forestry mulching machine versus where you can get attachments for the, uh, the skits here on the big ones. Uh, so this one's actually a, a little bit better. Uh, so yeah, we're trying out new teeth on the mulcher. We, uh, we were using, uh, I think it was steel teeth that they, uh, they had. And uh, these new ones that we switched over to our uh, carbide teeth, which are supposed to be a lot stronger and uh, are supposed to hold up with the rock. Um, so that's that site that we went to uh, because of all the rain that we've been getting. It was, it's hard to see until you basically go inside there, but uh, everything was so saturated that as soon as I went right inside there, I got stuck right away so deep. I was basically about, uh, about four to five feet uh, deep inside uh, mud. So we got stuck on the first part of the day. We had to get a big wrecker to come in and pull us out, which the big wrecker actually struggled to pull out our machine uh, because it was so stuck and our machine weighs about 16,000 pounds. Once we did get out, uh, we kind of assessed the job, whether if we were going to continue it or not because of the way it was so wet. We did take the, uh, we did continue actually on, uh, trying to avoid all the, like the, any wet spots. Well, I guess every spot was pretty wet, but we tried to avoid getting stuck. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, it, it started going uh, well, and then we did get a couple, uh, stuck a couple more times. 